Well, we're heading out to the woods. It's kind of the area that I was trying to scout not too long ago. Pretty overgrown. I think it opens up a lot better up here. Might as well follow the critter trail. So I'm doing this whole thing with the GoPro because it's uh, snowing out, sleeting. I didn't want to like ruin my other camera. So hopefully this works out pretty good. I hope. Well, we're gonna head back in here and see if we can find a good place. She get about four inches of snow. I think is what we're gonna end up getting. So uh, a trick that we used to do when I worked up in Minnesota uh, and actually in the military too was we always keep uh, a pilot's flask around our neck to try and stay hydrated. Uh, pretty simple to do. Get some fresh snow, shove it down in there. You always want to leave water in it and you always want to be sipping it constantly. That way, you always have a supply of water. You don't want to have this up next to your skin. You want to keep it in between your layers. And it works really, really slick. When you're in camp, you can actually fill it up with warm water. And actually heat you up a little bit. You can put MREs in it if you put warm water in it in the pouch itself or you can put a, a colder MRE in it and put it on the outside and then you can uh, eventually it'll warm up to your body temperature and then you'll have uh, you know a 98.6 MRE that you could have so a few different uses for it works pretty well. so I think I'm gonna head over here towards the river a lot of dead wood down here just got to find a good spot to throw up a shelter real quick looking pretty brushy and crappy though we'll see what we can find so I think I found the spot that I'm gonna hang out uh, in here this evening and tonight uh, between these two trees I got a hackberry I got an elm uh, there's no big deadfalls that are around me. Uh, there are some big trees that have come down around here, but that gives me a lot of good firewood. I've got a lot of resources here. Um, I've got my trees pretty close to the same uh, distance I need. I'll chop out this little piece of brush right here. I'm gonna clear this out. I got uh, this titanium shovel from eBay. <coughs> uh, from a Russian place and uh, we'll see how she works so we'll give her a shot and see how how she runs I haven't had it out much yet well, so far so good
gonna have to be good enough for now. So I'm gonna set up a uh, core temp shelter half. I'm gonna use a pre-made ridge line that I have here. Pretty slick. It has an open eye on it, right? It goes around the tree. It's got a couple of prussics with S beaners on them too. So in the winter time, sometimes you gotta slow stuff down a little bit. Don't get all antsy in your pantsy and get too freaked out about stuff. Um, take your time to get your stuff set up right. Tonight, I'm gonna try to use titanium, uh, titanium stakes. And they might not work. I might have to do anchors, snow anchors. Uh, but we'll see how they go. Uh, but hopefully they work and it's a pretty quick and easy uh, setup. Titanium is pretty tough. It will break though. <laughs> Trust me, it will. So I'm going to set this ridge line up about waist ish high. And I might have to adjust it. That's okay. We'll do what we got to do. I really prefer to use wool gloves out in the wintertime. I know a lot of guys like leather gloves. Um, once leather gloves get soaked, they're pretty tough to get dried out again. So I like the, the wool. It makes me feel more gooder. So I'm going to use these Ascent uh, Bargo titanium stakes. Uh, try to keep track of this stuff. These have little red lanyards on them, so a little bit easier to keep an eye on. Try to keep them ready to roll. This is the first time out for this shelter. It's a shelter half in the traditional sense. First thing I like to do is find my, my corner here. I'm going to take a stake. I'm going to go right down. From where this is going to be. My top. So I know my corner is going to go right here. I put a twist in it. And we'll see if we need to adjust. Take another stake or two. Starting to snow pretty good now. Yeah, we might be adjusting. Beautiful, beautiful. 
evening. I love it. I love it. Once I've got those set, I might end up moving some of them. I can go back and set my corners. Looking pretty solid. I like it. It'll shed snow nicely. And then from here, I'm have to dig out some more I kind snow. Kind of looked at my wind direction. Yeah, my wind directions, if you can see, kind of by the snow is going this way. So hopefully it'll keep most of the smoke out of my shelter. But I am going to put clear plastic on the front of this so that'll help too. Lots of wood out here. Lots and lots of wood. Shouldn't have any trouble finding some sort of a bed log. Uh, looks like we got some critter activity in that one. Don't really necessarily want that. Uh, ooh, cold. Ha <laughs> Ooh, this is a pretty nice log here. Pretty dry. A lot of good firewood too. Let's see where we're at. That's not bad. Might be able to get a couple of good chunks out of it. Let's see. I thought I might have to do an undercut on that, but I did not. That is good. Nice. We got that done. Sleeping pad, just a ridge rest. This is gonna help keep me on my sleeping pad.
All right, I'm gonna take my clear plastic. You know what? That should be pretty close. I think this is five mil maybe. This does a few things for me. Number one, obviously it closes it in. Number two, if you get your direction on your smoke a little bit off, this really, really helps. So something else I bring along to help with this endeavor. I hope I brought more than just two. I did. Little clips. Just keep those on there for now. I'll be able to actually use more of them later. So this gives you the whole super shelter thing, right? Except I didn't bring a mylar blanket, but it's gonna be okay. You guys kind of get where I'm coming from with this. I'll build a long fire uh, right in front of it and uh, we'll be good to go. Starting to snow pretty good now. Uh, I gotta get some wood going here. I got a lot of stuff to do. So I'm gonna try to bring the, the GoPro along as much as I can and get as much footage as I can. But I just dumped that thing in the snow a second ago. I was changing out the battery. I fat fingered it and it <laughs> flumped right in the snow. So hopefully it's still working okay. I guess if it's not, it's not. But uh, we'll bring it around and hopefully we can get some more. Uh, collecting firewood, getting ready for the night. Uh, my wool gloves are already starting to get wet. Here's the good thing about it though, is uh, I have a second pair with me in one of my pockets. Maybe not, they're in here, they're here, sorry. I got a second pair with me. The nice thing about these military wool gloves is that these are a size four. These are a size five. So if your hands get really cold, you can stack them, right? And wool, obviously most of you guys know, even when it gets wet, it's warm. So my hands are still plenty warm, uh, but I just got to get a fire going here. And uh, I wish I would have brought a piece of parachute with me now and set it up so I would have had some way to keep out of the snow. I think we're going to get about four inches. So uh, hopefully we'll be putting this GoPro to the test and see how it goes. Um, like I said, time shall reveal what's going on, that's for sure. But I'm really trying to stay up on staying hydrated because this is the only water that I brought. But as you can see, it's falling out of the sky. Water everywhere. So uh, we'll give that a shot here, get a fire going. I got some cool new fire starter I want to try. Uh, it's perfect conditions for it. So uh, we'll get to work on that right away.
So this is kind of getting to a point where I need to uh, get a little bit more cover up than I have. So luckily I got a piece of gear I never leave home without. That's a, a poncho. I try to like color code my gear a little bit. So I replaced, uh, I got a couple of these. I replaced my poncho drawstring with orange 550 cord. That way, right at a glance, I know it's my poncho and not something else. I'm gonna need a dry place to work. So I'm just gonna real quick like rig this up. Nothing fancy. And I'm probably gonna have to go, uh, I don't have a lot of trees to go to, but it's gonna have to work. <laughs> so we'll get this thing strung up real quick. Being out in the woods like this with it snowing like this really kind of makes you realize how uh, a lot of people kind of live in a fantasy world. You know, they, they say, well, I'm just going to bug out if anything happens. Well, I hope you're ready for this, and I hope you can take care of like four or five other people that want to bug out with you because this, this can get pretty dicey pretty quick out here. I don't know if it really gets a lot better than this. This is good stuff here. Good stuff. Look at that. Lickety five split. Split. If I was a rapper, I'd be five fifty cent. So I'm going to have to periodically dump some snow off of this, but that's okay. I can do that. Well, conditions have gotten pretty poor. Uh, <laughs> pretty, pretty soaking wet right now. Good thing is I've got all my sleeping gear is in a dry sack. I've got a shelter up. I've got protection from the snow for the most part right now. What I really need to do is get some uh, water going and get some more fluids in me. I've been drinking, you know, uh, water from my neck pouch here consistently, but I guarantee I'm not keeping up with the amount of uh, work I'm putting forth. I've got to get a lot more wood, a lot more. I don't even know how much of this footage is going to be usable because of the amount of snow that's hitting the GoPro. I don't know how the microphone's gonna sound. It's got snow all over it. It's, uh, I know, like I said, it is what it is. I mean, it's fun. For me, it's fun. But for you guys, I, I'm gonna try to give you a good experience with it, but there's only so much that I can do too. I'm glad I didn't bring my good camera out though, I can tell you that much. Because I think it would've got trashed. I really do. I'll be lucky if I don't trash this one. But, hmm, we'll see how she goes. Well, the snow's slowed down quite a bit, which is, Okay, you know, doesn't matter one way or another, I guess, because I'm out here. So I've already burnt through three batteries. I hope to uh, keep you guys with me as long as I can, obviously. But uh, probably won't get much morning footage, if any. But this is a perfect time to practice. Your skills are going to keep you alive. Uh, so let's say... I run into like a, a true emergency here. I whack my leg open with this knife, I throw a tourniquet on it, and I can walk to my truck. I hope. <laughs> I suppose that assumes a little bit, but at the same time, I kind of know what I'm capable of. So let's just assume that you're, you're a long ways from your truck, right? You're a long ways from your vehicle. You're a long ways from any help. You need some peace of mind that you can take care of yourself out in the field, out in the woods. 
when you're in bad conditions. So that's why we come out in conditions like this and we practice. We practice making split wood fires. Yeah, do you always have to have a split wood fire? Nope, sure don't. But when you need one, it sure is nice to be able to do it. Uh, right now, every twig out here in a non-coniferous forest like I have here, and the, these bottoms down here, uh, I don't have any coniferous trees at all. Everything here is deciduous. Everything here, the leaves are 100% off of it. So every small twig and branch is soaking up moisture as we're talking, as I'm doing this. So one of my best options is going to be splitting the wood down. So we go out there, we find our good split wood, and we take advantage of it. I thought this was going to be a good piece. That's pretty knotty. I don't like it, so I'm not going to use it. Doesn't look too bad. Well, you can see how the proper wood selection is really going to help you out a lot. That's a nice, clean, straight piece of wood. It's going to shave easy. If I try to split this down with these knots in it, I know that if I hit, I mean, I can split it this way. I might as well just do it just to show you. So I know I can get a split out of it. I hope I should be able to because I can read this wood. A little bit of a split, right? Still going to give me some good material to make shavings with or whatever else I have to do. But it doesn't split down like I like it to, like this stuff. So you can you can use marginal marginal wood, but it's not going to give you the same results. It's just like anything marginal. Mm. That wood's a wee bit marginal too. But we're keeping it up out of the snow. Uh, I've got this. Uh, that's not very good. I've got a uh, new fire starter that we're going to try out. Let's see if we can get a couple of splits off of this. <laughs> yes. Split like butter. Like butter. But I'm going to continue to work on this, um, get it all split down, and when I get ready for ignition, we'll flip the camera back on and uh, we'll get her lit up and ready to go. So we've got some of this fire strip roll. We're going to give this a shot. i got lots of shavings here. This wood's pretty poor, but uh, it'll go or it won't. We're going to use a pretty copious amount of this stuff here. Um, I actually want to try to roll it up, see if I can get it to last a little bit longer. I, think I got too much. I might be happy that I got it. I don't know. And I'm going to take it. Tear some of it up, see if we can get it to go with a, a fire steel immediately. The trick's going to be to keep her going. I used cottonwood bark for the base to keep everything up out of the snow.
looks like it worked pretty good. A lot of smoke on the old GoPro. <laughs> well, start to get the long fire laid out. <clears throat> Knocking a big snow off everything. Oh. I have to start drying out some gloves. Uh, good thing is my boots are dry, my feet are dry. Well, my boots aren't dry, they're wet, my feet are dry. Um, this wool will dry out pretty darn quick. Uh, like I said though, I have got to get some water in me. I am really falling behind. I know I will feel like crap tomorrow if I don't catch up on it. That's what I gotta do. I got a lot more firewood to get yet. A lot of stuff to do. I got out here a little bit later than I wanted to. So, I don't know how much more it's gonna snow. I got my last battery in there. I'm gonna have to buy more, I guess. Finally, I had to switch away from my tactical wrap there. Those things are great. I love wearing them around my neck, wearing them around my ears when I'm working. Uh, Got my gloves drying out, but it's snowing on them pretty good. I got some water, working on some water. I'm gonna have some coffee, and I'm gonna continue to get wood, <laughs> and I'm gonna continue to make water, and eventually I'm gonna eat something. But until then, we're just gonna keep up this process of drying out gear, getting firewood, uh, keep it under the cover. Now, obviously, I don't know if you guys probably saw uh, this poncho was just a real quick deal just to get my fire prep done. It's giving me a place to keep my gear uh, dry, but it's it's obviously not in a great spot. Uh, once I get this fire really going, I'm actually going to move the fire this way so I'll get more reflection into the shelter. Uh, but we'll see how it goes. Uh, I want to get some gear dried out. Like I said, I want to get some more snow in here. And, Get me uh, a nice cup of coffee. Well, I managed to get some coffee. I don't know how this is filming. Be interested to see how it uh, how it looks, how it sounds, how much the snow is screwed with stuff. Um, like I said, I've got a lot of work to do yet. Luckily. It's only like six o'clock or so. I got a headlight. I got good batteries. Brought extra batteries because I'm smart like that. Oh, that's good. So here's what's nice too: be able to dry gear out. If you guys put wood on your fire, be sure you tend your gear, move it back. Uh, I've had a lot of times in classes I've taught throughout the years. People put their, their gear by the fire to dry. Somebody else comes and throws wood on it. Well, then they get mad at somebody else for throwing wood on the fire. Well, it's your gear, it's your fault. That's what we always say. So keep an eye on your gear. If you can hold your hand about 10 seconds from the fire, that's a pretty good rule that we've used in the past. Uh, seems to work pretty well. But uh, all the gears working solid. Poncho, I have to knock snow off of it. No big deal. Um, shelter half, that core temp shelter half from Bushcraft Outfitters, working real good so far. Titanium stakes are holding, which I was actually, to be totally honest, a little bit surprised that they're holding. Uh, there's quite a bit of snow on it. I've knocked snow on it three or four times. I think we got probably about three or four inches in the last few hours. It was really coming down there good for a while. Hopefully it made for some good pictures, but uh, we'll find out. So anyway, this is the last of my batteries here. Uh, hopefully, uh, you guys enjoyed seeing what's going on in the morning. All I'm going to do is uh, throw my stuff in a heap and get out of here. So, uh, not much else to do. I just want to show you guys a little bit of setting up camp. A few tricks about keeping water around your neck, keeping that warm. Um, I got some more. I'll probably have to do it, give myself more time. I want to show you how to keep your boots from freezing, keep your water from freezing, and stuff like that. So more wintertime tips and tricks will be coming up.
for now. This is just going to have to do. Like I said, I got to try to get ahead of this weather, and I'm going to be up quite a while drying gear and everything else. So, anyway, thanks for coming along once again. Um, sorry I couldn't bring Broody out. Broody doesn't like it this much, <laughs> this much snow all at once. It's kind of hard to keep him dry too. He's a mastiff. He's not a husky. So, uh, but anyway. Uh, I'll, ha I'll get him in my next video because I know a lot of you guys like seeing him. So uh, thanks for subscribing. Thanks for uh, coming out and uh, being out in the woods with me. Hopefully see you out here sometime.